When you look at the assets that the state has, the airport is a significant asset, and, it, and, and you wonder, is the state really the right entity to run, uh, run an airport? Of course, we have to keep the regulatory uh, components of it. You know, the opponents of, of proposals like this tend to, uh, to try to raise the flag on safety and things like that, and of course, uh, the responsibility of the government would, retain, would be retained uh, to ensure safety and, and things along those lines. So that's just a red herring, and it's really uh, just a way for them to push the issue off, but why is uh, the state running uh, the airport, which provides restaurants and shops, and and you know the functions and the operations that a private business probably would do very well? And so what we're looking at is just raising the question, raising raising the real question of what should government be doing, and what should government partner with uh, the private sector to provide better services to the people who are using them and actually leverage dollars in a way that make much more sense. We we don't want to we don't want to say that we've been that we've been talking to potential buyers right. but we've been talking to uh, the the money side of this the the brokers the financial side <coughs> who have told us repeatedly that there there's a pool of capital out there. Um, it's actually good news to hear uh, from a number of vantage points when you think about our economy right now but but people and investors are looking for these public-private partnerships and transactions, and there's, there's billions of dollars out there. Shouldn't Minnesota be a part of that? The discussion over roads and, and transportation, and y there's all sorts of assets that, that the state owns out there. I think all those things should be on the table. You know, what we're, what we're looking at when you have a budget deficit as historic as ours is looking at something that is called a Apollo 13 style of leadership. You take everything out of your pockets, you take everything out of everybody else's pockets, put it on the table, and you figure out how to make it work. And uh, that's what we're talking about is let's put the ideas on the table. Whether they're, whether they're perfect or not, let's get the ideas on the table. Let's debate them and let's figure out how to make this work. And I think certainly other uh, public-private partnerships or other privatiza privatization ideas uh, should be uh, considered in, in transportation, uh, in parks and recreation, and even, even the wayside rests on the side of the road. Those should be part of the, uh, that discussion.